Attention please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Petrol. G Petrol. Definitely a must see. Follow us. Welcome back. Well, very mixed emotions among the three people sitting up here on Blockbusters. Uh, Tamara, of course, is disappointed, but she's eagerly awaiting this fifth gold run. More eagerly awaiting it are the team, of course. Jesse, yes, but Jeremy's got to actually do the thing. It's the big one on Blockbusters. It doesn't come round that often, but this is it. So, Jeremy, are you all set? A mm, couple of deep kind of, breaths. A yeah. little bit on the shaky side, yeah. but don't let it get you down. Have a look over there. There it all is. And you can always tell when you have complicated... Uh, arrays of letters, then very often it turns out to be the simple answer. So, let's go for it, shall we? It's the big one, as I say, the final one, the fifth gold run on Blockbusters. So, Jeremy, for your last time, put yourself on that hotspot, please. <laughs> right, keep your cool. Get across there within the minute, and don't forget your partner got across in 30 seconds last time, so it can be done very easily. Tell us where you want to start on the left. T.A. Startled. Taken aback. Yes. I E I A. Stop. That'll do. It's about as much as we can bear. Enough is enough. Yes. T H T H. Untouchable because of very high temperatures. Too hot to handle. That's it. S T. Opinions and decisions given consider reconsideration. Second thinking. Uh, no, not thinking. Uh, second. Oh, pass. C R. Friend of Alice, owner of Pooh Bear. Pass. Uh, oh, no, Christopher Robinson. Yes, indeed. PD. Spanish tenor who partnered Carreras and Pavarotti Cinco in Cinco Domingo. That's right, and that's great! Come and join Well done. Step up with him. And have a look over here. Get close together and look at the big one on Blockbusters. Congratulations to you. Here it is. The train now leaving will be calling at Agra, Jaipur, and all stations en route to the magic of India. From your luxury railway carriage or first-class air-conditioned hotel, you'll experience what it was that made this country the jewel in Victoria's crown. It's a country of contrasts, still with a juxtaposition of poverty and great wealth. Throughout much of India, time has stood still. There are constant reminders of the Mughal Empire and the Raj, of its vast population, over 600 million still live off the land. This land of mystery and magic that is India. Really Two of the best champions we've seen for a long time. You actually worked together so very, very well. Either one of you was doing it or the other, but you got there. That's the main thing. And what you've got is a selection of CDs and tapes. You've got a personal CD player each. You've got that wonderful dinghy sailing course, which is going to be terrific. You've got the visit to Madrid and now this colossal tour of India. So, again, congratulations. Terrific that work is. done. Well done. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Yes, truly gleeful. They go bouncing off the set and they're going to have a wonderful time. We may indeed get messages from them in later editions of the show telling us and perhaps showing us by uh, a certain little video camera they may take with them just sort of what sort of adventures they had. Anyway, our congratulations to Jeremy and Jesse. Let me just fill in the details for those of you who actually came in halfway through and didn't realise where they came from. It's Woodhouse College, Finchley in North London. They've been, been with us for quite a while and they've, uh, they've been very popular candidates and contestants. There's one thing I have to tell you, of course, and that's that one particular question he didn't get and he almost got it, didn't he? The uh, opinions and decisions given reconsideration was, as he almost said, second thoughts. Right. We have no second thoughts now. That part of the, of the set is clear. We've got three new people, and I use the term loosely, new people sitting there waiting to commence. So let's welcome them all, shall we? Their names, Charlie, Sarah and Ralph. <laughs> now, when I said Charlie, they all expected to see a fella, but it's Charlotte. <laughs> Likes to be called Charlie, and Charlie it'll be. Charlotte Tarrant from the Purse School for Girls in Cambridge, right? Yep. Nice to see you, Charlie. And next to you, Sarah and Ralph. Sarah Faust, what a good name, my goodness. And Ralph Corrigan from Nutsford High School in Cheshire, OK? Good. Well, as it's the uh, first time for you all here on the panel, I suggest you all do a little handshaking and get to know each other. 
Not that you don't from behind the scenes already. And now we're going to settle down and start all over again. Who will come out on top of this set of three games? Stay with us and find out as we play Blockbusters. <laughs> Right, you can see an eye flashing on the board. Here we go. What eye, everybody, is a legacy left by a deceased relative? Yes, Bruff. Inheritance. Inheritance. Good start. Well done. <laughs> OK, that's a blue over there on the right, and you've got the whole board to choose from. R, please. OK, R. What R goes before legged, partridge, breasted goose, and throated diver for three species of birds. Yes, Ralph? Red. It is right, yes. Red it is. <laughs> yep, red-legged partridge, red-breasted goose and red-throated diver, as ornithologists will know. Right, it's back to the board and another letter, please. OK, please, Bob. Okie doke. Come on, Charlie. Time you surged into action. What K goes after Robert and before Silk? for the name of a former Labour MP turned television presenter. Too late, Ralph got there, yes? Kilroy. Kilroy was here, correct. <laughs> Three blues firmly planted on the board. We expect to see some whites very shortly as Ralph picks the next one. D, please, Bob. OK. All of you now, what D is the county in which the Duke of Devonshire has... Yes, Charlie? Derbyshire. Yes, you're right. Derbyshire it is. <laughs> Not Devon, as you'd expect, but Chatsworth House near Bakewell. Right. So we've got a white, and it's Charlie's Choice. Um, G, please. Sounds like a title of a book. Charlie's Choice. Here comes the letter G. What G is the large British city at the western end of the... Yes, Charlie. Glastonbury. No, it's not. No, Sarah and Ralph, what G is the large British city at the western end of the M8? Yes, Sarah? Glasgow. It's Glasgow. You're right. <laughs> I thought she was going to say it when she said glass, but she got to Tunbury at the end. Right, four blues and one white, and now it's Sarah's turn. P, please, Bob. Thank you. Then. Ah, Sarah, you've got yourself a bonus question. Well, anybody's got it if they answer this correctly. What P is the art of telling character and the future from... Yes, sir. Palmistry. From the lines of the hand. Palmistry is right. Good. <laughs> now, for a five-pound bonus, and only you can answer this, Sarah, it can't be passed over, what is studied in graphology in order to ascertain character? Handwriting. Handwriting's right. Five pounds more. Well done. And as though those benefits are not enough, they've got a flashing blue light and the chance to make a connection if Charlie lets them. OK, which one? A T, please, Bob. The T? Stand by, all three of you. What T is the number of hurdles to be jumped? Charlie. Ten. Yes. <laughs> it is ten. Well done. That's in both the 110 metres and the 400 metre races. Right. OK, now where are you going? You've broken their line. Um, N, please. N. Hmm. What N is the country in which the Palestinians and Israels... Yes, Sarah. Nigeria? No. So it goes across to you, Charlie, and I'll get it right this time. What N is the country in which the Palestinians and Israelis met secretly to negotiate the 1993 peace plan? Um, Nepal? No, it was Norway. It was Norway. So it goes back to all three of you now. What end are the books which can be called thrillers, mysteries, who do... Yes, Charlie? Novels. Yes, it is. Novels. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Only fair, isn't it? The blues had a flashing light. Now, Charlie's got... The single player's got a flashing light. Which one? Is um, it? W, please. W to the left. Well, I've got the W here, but I've got news for you. There's not time to tell it. No, we have to wait until next time round. Not my fault. It's the clock. See you next time round to find out who wins. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.